welcome everyone it's sherry carroll for simon says stamp.com and i'm here with another tag that i'm creating for my tag book here are the tags that i've created already in my ring of tags and they're all really nice and layered and i realized the last one i did was for halloween i'm going to be starting off with a dina wakely tag and i'll be covering this with some paper and i've chosen the tim holtz 2023 christmas backdrops and i've chosen this poinsettia print because it's so pretty and it has all the colors i want to go on to my tag so the first thing i want to do is to remove the reinforcer and you can just use your thumbnail or even a pick tool to peel this off I'll be using my Simon Says Stamp glue stick and I'm going to rub this all over the tag and I really want to make sure that I get all those areas covered especially on all the side edges bottom and top and next I'm lining up the bottom and side for my tag and I'm just going to press this down and then I can flip this over and I can trim around all the outside edges with my scissors Next, I've used a little bit of the Simon Says Stamp Lolo Tech tape, and I've taped my tag to the back of the Spellbound stencil. This is actually a Halloween stencil, but I thought it was really cute with the stars. It almost looks like snowflakes. So I'm using regular opaque distressed texture paste, and I'm going to mix this around a little bit. It's been a while since I've used it. So with my palette knife, I'm just going to spread this through the stencil until I have it completely covered. I just picked up my bottle of Distress Rock Candy Glitter and I really like this and it has a seal much like a milk cap so that screw on lid is really great. So I haven't pulled my stencil off yet but when I do I'm just going to carefully dismount and I have a coffee filter underneath and I'm just going to pour the glitter all over the paste and then I can tap off the excess. I'm going to set my tag off to the side to dry a little bit and in the meantime while that's drying I'm going to pick out some elements to work with starting with the Tim Holtz Christmas layer frames and there's many sizes so I've picked the middle size and I've picked the colors that I want to work with. I'm also going to be cutting out some trees and this is the Tim Holtz Forest Shadow Trees and I've already die cut some out. These are just some really nice silhouettes of trees and I thought I would do something a little bit different. I've cut them with a printed paper and I've cut them in the vertical direction to where that print will hit on each of those trees. This sheet is also in the Christmas Backdrops collection. I'll be gluing my trees to the back of the frame and I'm using Simon's Stamp glue and I've just put a little line of glue onto the back of that frame and now I'll line these up from the front. And now working from the back I'll add a little bit of glue on each side of the trees so those will hold securely. And now I can just use my scissors and trim off the sides matching the frame. I've picked out a little girl and boy to go on the front of my frame and these are from the Christmas Layers and Paper Dolls Ephemera Pack. And to adhere these down I'm going to be using the Simon Says Stamp Foam Squares and these are the little quarter inch size and I'll just put these in the main areas of the kids. And once I've removed the backing I can go ahead and place these on top of the frame. I've also picked out an ephemera piece that is a holly and it fits kind of on a corner so this will be perfect to put up in the upper right and I've added a few foam squares on the back of that as well. I've also picked out a little believe tag that I'm using and that's from the Christmas ephemera pack and for this I'm just going to glue it on to the back of the frame so across the top of that little flashcard I'll add that glue and then I can just slide it under that frame. I'm adding a special delivery tag to the top of the frame and I have one foam square on my tag and a couple on that frame. I'm just removing the backs of those and now I can set this on top and that will go over the little girl's feet. The texture paste is dry on my tag and so next I'm putting some foam tape around the frame. This is really nice to keep everything sturdy. I am going to have this frame hang off to the left of my tag so what I want to do is cut my foam in half to create a thinner piece to accommodate the overhang. And now I can remove all the backing of the foam tape and then I can press it down in place. For my hanger at the top I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to be gluing down this piece of velvet ribbon. 
I'll be gluing this on the front and back so with a little bit of glue on the front I can set this down in place and then with it flipped to the back side I'll add a little bit more glue and I'll fold this down and press it down in place leaving me with a little overhang at the top. And to keep it secure I'll just add one staple with my tiny attacher. For my finishing touches I'm going to use a couple items from the Tim Holtz Christmas Word plaques and tags and I'm also going to use some sterling foundry wax. I've shaken my bottle up real good and I'm just squeezing out a small puddle onto my glass mat and now I can just use my finger to apply the wax onto my metal findings. And to set the wax I'll heat it up with my heat gun until everything becomes really shiny. I'm also using one of our pick tools to hold those little tiny charms in place while I heat them. While the metal is cooling I've added a couple jingle bells onto some red and white twine and I've tied that in a bow and I'll be attaching this right onto that staple area of my tag and I'll hold this in place until it cools and that finishes off the top portion of the tag. I'll also be using my hot glue gun to put down my first metal piece and this is that star that looks like a wax seal and this will sit just right into the corner of the holly. And finally I am tying on the tiny little plaques by using the string from the frame. I hope you've enjoyed this project. I sure had fun creating it. I really love putting all the elements together to create something special. And here's a look at all the tags that I've made so far for my tag journal. Be sure to check the links below for all my supplies and also a link to our blog post for more information. And as always, thanks so much for watching. Hi there, I'm Heidi, Simon's mama and founder at simonsaysstamp.com. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you like what you just saw, be sure to press the thumbs up and subscribe to see more great content.